New Oak Creek Trail is located in Red Rock Canyon off Blue Diamond Road. This is a free, open to the public trail system unlike other areas in Red Rock where you must pay $7 a day or $30 per year to enter. Park right off the side of Blue Diamond Road and make your way through a small opening in the fence and hike down a few hundred yards to the beginning of the trail sign. There is only one sign at the beginning of the trail and once you get into the canyon the trail becomes poorly marked so it's best to map your course out on Google Earth before leaving. This will give you a more accurate number of miles the round trip will take and give you a bird's eye view and the lay of the land. I suggest ankle support, hiking boots as I wore trail running shoes and almost rolled my ankle. Also you will need sunscreen and lots of water. A gallon is best and during the summer you might need even more. The only thing I've heard so far about Red Rock out here is be careful with uh, your dogs and pets um, going off the trails, exploring bushes. That's probably where the rattlesnakes are going to be at. Um, it's best just to give them their distance. I like to even carry, uh, I have a, when I do these hikes, I like to carry ibuprofen in case I do hurt myself or Another good thing is it rattles in the pockets, so any snakes or anything, they'll definitely hear me coming. Hopefully go back into their hole and people too, if you wanna walk up on people and not know you're there. So just one thing I like to do, create a little bit more noise. And uh, for the most part, it's just a nice hike. Relax, have fun. As we get closer here into the trail, one thing I noticed is the ground is very rocky. So unlike some of the other hikes, make sure your hiking shoes, hiking boots are tied very tight and preferably have ankle support, which I'm learning right now, my hiking shoes makes this a little bit more challenging. Oh, almost at the end of the trail here. You can see you can see a big old hawk or some sort of bird flying around looking for prey. Uh, we finally started to get to the canyon. And what a perfect day. Wow, such a nice little breeze coming through this canyon here. trees just make it so nice. I believe just a few uh, miles from here is Las Vegas. <laughs> it is a pretty good little cardio workout. I've been wearing my Fitbit and my heart rate's gone up to 130 plus at times. And I'm not in the best shape in the world, but I do do cardio a few times a week. A little bit of elevation change, but I think for the average person, they'd be able to handle this just fine. Um, still trying to find out how far we go back in here. Ah, scenery's just amazing, though. Uh, well into the uh, canyon now. Let's see, Let's see. part of the Calico Basin. Perfect point in this way, um, and you just set the camera up. The rock I was sitting at. Got this view right here, so straight up. Selfie stick would probably be a better shot here. Then, top of that, another amazing view. You can see the trail kind of ends here. It's 
probably for only really more experienced climbers. All right, here's where the uh, Oak Creek Trail kind of ends. As you see, you have the Calico tra tanks behind me. And if you look, do a 180. Look at that. What a view that is. Gets even better. If you stand on this rock, look over here. Do 360. See, this is a place you definitely want to connect with spirit. Um, learned a few things today, which is the mind, and definitely got a workout on this trail. Um, learned where this trail goes, how far. I've learned where to kind of stop. There's places where you could theoretically go down into some washes and stuff like that, but for the most part, leave that for more experienced hikers and climbers. Behind me, it's really not a trail anymore. It just goes vertically almost down into a wash. Who knows where it goes from there. Um, that's where I'd 